So hello kids, welcome to this new video. Today we are gonna see another lecture, but to start I would like to pray. Please go with me and close your eyes. Father God, we thank you uh, for your mercy and your unfailing love. Thank you for your grace uh, because we do not deserve this because we are sinners, but we beg you so you can remove everything that uh, does not come from you so we can be really consecrated for you we want to be holy just as your word said because you are holy and we want together um, we want to live together with you we want to live with you every day of our lives so we can uh, have this real life and that and that we can enjoy the real life father we um, pray so you may open our spiritual wisdom and our spiritual understanding so this gospel may reveal more to our lives i pray in the name of jesus who is the christ amen all right kids welcome to this new video today we are gonna see lecture which number is it lecture 10 so lecture 10 and lecture 10 calls believers life walk of faith all right so let's start and please i would like to remind you that when you are with me you must have your bible with you even i uh share with you the verses on the screen I really appreciate you if you have your Bible with you reading the verses with me, right? All right, so today we are going to see the greatest love and mercy that God has with mankind, right? Why? Because mankind needs a solution so the, we, we can return with the Father, with our Creator, amen? So the Father who is God um gave us the solution with a covenant uh, but what what does a covenant means a covenant is a promise that the parts that are uh, uh, surrounder this covenant uh, may fulfill right and god has since the beginning god has established some covenants and the first covenant that god has established with the creation i mean adam and eve was a covenant of works but Let's see what was about this covenant. Let's read Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 to 17. But the Lord God warned him, You may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you are sure to die. Right, here we can see how God established uh, a covenant with Adam and Eve, right? Let's see. This covenant of works was about to fulfill, to obey, but to fulfill with their own efforts, right? They must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, right? But what happened uh, in, the pre in the next verses of Genesis chapter 3, we can see that they disobey, right? E, chapter 3 talks about the disobedience of mankind, of Adam and Eve. Uh, but what? What else? God, um, Adam and Eve broke this covenant, right? And let's confirm with the Bible. Let's read uh, Genesis chapter, chapter 3, verse 6. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it too. You can see another verse that confirms us specific with Adam, right? Hosea chapter 6 verse 7. But like Adam, you broke my covenant and betrayed my trust. So the Lord is asking us for obedience, right? Let's see uh, another verse, Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Because one person disobeyed God, many became sinners. But be because one other person obeyed God, many will be made righteous. So here we can see the love and the mercy of God. <clears throat> God gave us another covenant. 
another covenant that does not depend of us, but is the grace of, of, our, of our God in us, so we, we may believe and obey this covenant. Amen. Let's see that this, what is this covenant. So the second covenant is the Messianic covenant. That is a gift that God has promised from the beginning of the creation, right? This covenant talks about the birth of the Messiah, the suffering and passion of the Messiah, the resurrection, and the promise of the Holy Spirit, but also the promise of the second coming. Amen. So this is the Messianic covenant, and it does not depend of us because it depends of the Messiah, right? And the Messiah, sent by God, has already come into the earth, but also we are waiting for his second coming. Amen. And let's see that God put in us the desire to seek him and to do his will. Amen. To proclaim this, go uh, this gospel, this good news around the world to all the nations. Amen. Now, let's see how does a person who has believed this messianic covenant lives. Let's see 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. God the Father knew you and chose you long ago, and his spirit has made you holy. As a result, you have obeyed him and have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And to believe and obey the covenant of his second coming, we must believe in what Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 says. Then Jesus said to, this, to his disciples, if any one of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross and follow me, right? Now we don't live for our own desires, but we live to fulfill the will of our God, of our creator, of our savior, of our Lord, of our Christ who is Jesus, amen? Let's see that, that a person who has believed that Jesus is the Christ in in their heart, they obey, but first of all, they believe that Jesus is the Christ. Amen? But what else? We need to know that they live this Emmanuel life, which means that God is with us. So now we live with the Lord and we live for the Lord. Just as Romans chapter 14 verse 8 says. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. And if we die, it's to honor the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Amen. That is the real life of a person who has believed this gospel. That Jesus is the Christ. Finally. Let's see that a person who has believed and obey uh, are waiting for his second coming because the Lord, the Messiah will come again. And let's see that this um, is the real life of a Christian. A Christian is a person who has believed but also who has obeyed in this case, in his, in his heart, that Jesus is the Messiah, is the Christ. And they believe, they live believing this covenant and they long for the return of our Lord. Amen? To finish with this uh, lecture, let's read Acts chapter 11, verse 26. When he found him, he brought him back to Antioch. Both of them stayed there with the church for a full year, teaching large crowds of people. It was at Antioch that the believers were first called Christians, right? So Christians is not uh, a religion. To be a Christian does not mean that I live um, with my own desires, 
with my own wishes, with my own goals, but it means that I don't live anymore, but Christ who died for me, I live for him, amen? And I proclaim this gospel to all the people so this uh, messianic covenant can be known for all the per all the people that is on the earth as a testimony or uh, so they may believe that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. Let's close with a prayer. Thank you for being here with me. And I, I pray so you may um, understood this uh, teaching. And if you have any question, just write us and we are going to contact you. Father God, we thank you for this time. We thank you because it's your Holy Spirit who speaks to our lives. Thank you because it's the Holy Spirit who teach us. It's not me, but it's you. Lord, we beg you so we can live um, according to your word so we can be a true Christian and that we may glorify your, na your name with our, with, our whole, with our whole life. Thank you, Lord, because you have given us this covenant and um, because it's not anymore a covenant of works, but it's by your grace that we have nowadays this covenant of the Messiah. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Lord, because you have opened a living way so we can meet with the Father again. I pray and I thank you all of this. I thank you also for the kids who are going to watch this video. And I pray so you speak to our lives, Lord, and we may go deeper to know you better and to long your second coming thank you thank you god i pray in the name of jesus who is the christ amen so kids so see you next video i hope you really enjoy and please pray so the lord um open your heart and you may uh, believe this word maranatha jesus is the christ bye